What's up, card family? Hope everybody's doing well. Here we are, halfway through January, and I've been seeing a lot of people posting videos of their 2021 goals. Now, I really don't have any goals, at least not any strict goals. I want to have fun collecting. I want to add more uh, autographs to my Twins Autograph PC. I'd like to do it mainly through TTMing and possibly trading. I said I want to spend less money this year on cards. Also, I uh, would like to make it to the National. But, as far as specific goals, I don't have many. But, when people have been posting on social media, what I have been saying is that I really want to get an on-card auto of Caesar Tovar for my Twins collection. Now, with the Twins Autograph PC, um, some of the big names that I have left, uh, Billy Martin... Johnny Roseboro, Jim Tomey, and David Ortiz. Now, those last two should be easy to find. Roseboro and Martin, a little bit tougher to find, especially on a Twins card. I think Roseboro only has one Twins card, at least mainstream Twins card. And uh, Billy Martin has a few, but he's he's kind of a tough autograph. Um, you know, those, those guys, maybe I might have to settle for an autograph on a... On a card of a different team, but the tough one is going to be Caesar Tovar. Now Caesar has plenty of plenty of cards in a Twins Uni, um, so why why is he so tough? He played in the '60s and '70s. He was a really solid player. He finished in the top 25 MVP voting five years in a row. He led the league in hits one year. He led the league in doubles and triples in the same year. Was very versatile. He was the second player ever to play all nine positions in one game. He was, you know, he's not a Hall of Famer, obviously, but he's he was a solid player. But the problem is his autographs are very, very expensive. Now, I kind of like to compare him to Bob Allison. And Bob Allison was a big get for me in 2020. I really wanted to get a Bob Allison autograph. And they have similar timelines as far as when they died and how old they were. Um, I believe Tovar died in 94 and Bob Allison died in 95. I think Tovar was 54 and Bob Allison was 60. So a very similar timeline there. But Caesar Tovar's autographs are much more expensive than Bob Allison's. So why is that? Well, I think the reason why is because after uh, Tovar's MLB career, he moved back to Venezuela, his home country, and he played baseball in the Venezuelan League, and he really lived out the rest of his days. And with Bob Allison living in the States, he probably made it to some card shows. Um, with Tovar in Venezuela, he probably wasn't having much TTM requests and and whatever uh, you know autograph sightings he had were probably few and far between. So I'm thinking that's why it's so expensive. But um, it's crazy when you, when you when you think of expensive for a star a semi star player. You think maybe a hundred dollars, um, but this guy's autograph typically, the way I want it on a card, on a twins card, is going to be a lot more than a hundred dollars. So, without further ado, I'm going to kind of show you some of the recent sales of his autograph and some of the current listings. All right, so now I'm going to take you through a few eBay sold listings. Now this one right here is, is the most recent one. I had a watch on it and I was hoping that it would go for around $100. As you can see it went for $527.67. And that's for a card that isn't even authenticated. Now if you're familiar with his autograph, you can tell that looks pretty legit. But still man, that's crazy. Here we have the same card that earlier went for $500. And here we have a, a 1973 Opeachy card where he's on the Phillies. And that's PSA authenticated. 
and that went for $199. Here's another one. This is a 1971 that's PSA authenticated. And that one went for $131.50. This was probably one of the better uh, deals. Although it isn't, the card isn't pristine and the autograph isn't the best, nor is the autograph placement, it's probably one of the better deals that you're going to see on, on here. Here's one that's just beautiful. Uh, I don't have the listing anymore, um, but this 72 Tops is just clean, man. The autograph is beautiful. The card itself is clean. A little off-center, top to bottom. But this sold for exactly $300. So now uh, let's take a look at some other options that I have currently. Um, here we have a very ugly 1971 Tops. By ugly, I mean the condition of the card is just rough. It's in rough shape. It is, uh, it's got a tear. It's got a huge crease. And it's just not very nice looking at all. And uh, they want $140 for it or best offer. Here's one that I thought about getting. And the price has, has kept going down on this. This is a 1966 Twins Yearbook. And just owning the yearbook in and of itself would be really cool. And as you can see, it is autographed by Caesar, and they only want $55 for it. Problem is, I do want to get him on a card. So I can find, I know if I paid the $55 for this, I know that I would still be looking for a card, and it would just sort of set me back $55, and then I'd still be not satisfied. I may end up having to get an index card. So here we have a PSA DNA index card, and they want $99 for this one. Now, with an index card, you could always leave it slabbed as is, or you could try to make some type of a cut with it. Like with this JSA uh, authenticated index card, which they want $70 for. Um, if I bought it, would I want it just left as is? Would, would I send it to PSA to get slabbed, or would I try to make a cut with it? I don't know yet. And here's an 8x10 magazine page. And this would probably look really nice in a frame. The problem is uh, they don't... The autograph itself doesn't really look that great. I mean, it's the, I mean, it looks fine, but it's in green ink and it's hard to see. So even in a frame and hanging up on the wall, you wouldn't be able to... You know, see the autograph that well. So that's really what I'm left with, and it's it's too bad because, I mean, that's a lot of money. You're talking a five hundred twenty one dollars for a player that isn't a Hall of Famer, and I could get, you know, a Hank Aaron autograph and a, a Willie Mays autograph for that much. You know, I could get a Ted Williams or a Joe DiMaggio autograph for $500 plus. I mean, that's just crazy. I'm not going to spend $500 on a Caesar Tovar autograph. I'm just going to have to be patient. I'm going to have to hope that somebody puts one up and doesn't quite, you know, know what they have or, you know, know the value of the card or maybe get lucky and find one at a show or something. I don't know. If I go through the whole year and I don't find anything, I might just end up buying one of these index cards. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, now you see my dilemma with Caesar Tovar. Well, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.